So today we're going to be talking about niche research, specifically for Adobe stock. I had a question in the comments where somebody was asking me, do you do any niche research for Adobe stock? How can we do some niche research? I'll kind of give you all the information around it. For niche research around Adobe stock, the reality is, is it's not 100% necessary. And I'll kind of go deeper into this by kind of presenting everyone who was in our members area. If you haven't yet joined our members area, just go to the Autopilot Passive Income site. Click on this link here. It takes you to our members area. And I have a few lessons here where we talk about how to actually create a very, very good stock photography business. We have videos around keyword implementation, image creating, and you could actually see me do everything live. A lot of people think there's some sort of science to the madness. The reality is, is when it comes down to Adobe stock, you want to upload as much as possible. The niche is really irrelevant. There's a niche for everything. Now, of course, don't get me wrong. There's some niches that are a little more profitable than others because of the demand. But mind you, there's also a very large amount, a plethora, if you will, of competition. So for me, I don't concern myself with niche research. I'll give you an opportunity to see the different versions of niche research that you could do. But once again, I don't concern myself. If I'm going to go out there and upload 40,000, 50,000, 100,000 different images, at the end of the day, I am going to upload in some niches that are competitive and some niches that lock, lack competition. I don't concern myself with the number, not in this field. If we're talking about print on demand, where every single upload for me is limited and it's counted and I can only upload a certain amount every day on certain marketplaces, then yeah, niche research might matter or definitely matters in a case like that because every upload counts. In a circumstance like this, I can upload as much as I want and I'm competing against accounts with 200,000 uploads, 500,000 uploads, even a million uploads. So once again, I personally don't do niche research and by me uploading over 50,000 plus different images, 20,000, 30,000, whatever you want, number you want to attach to it, a large number, I'm going to upload in niches that are, once again, less competitive and some niches that are more competitive by definition. So if you're really hung up on niche research, which I recommend that you don't be hung up on it, but if you are, a way that you can do that is go to vectz.com and sign up for an account, a contributor account. And inside, it shows you the insights on what is currently trending on their website. Now, of course, VecDZ is not a direct correlation to Adobe stock. However, it is somewhat similar. You know, they're both stock photography sites. And of course, they offer different things. But you kind of get views here of different levels of demand. So, for example, the keyword nature for photos is a little more in demand than the keyword car, for example, or food. Now, you can look at different keywords once again. But for me, in this situation with Adobe Stock, remember that my goal is to upload as much as possible. So, niche research is only going to create a situation where you're going to suffer from analysis by paralysis. A lot of the times people analyze so, so much and it causes them to slow down or in some cases not do any work whatsoever. With once again stock photography, the name of the game is not picking the perfect niche. The name of the game is uploading, 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 uploading. You're going to upload in certain scenarios where it's just too competitive. You're also going to upload in some scenarios where it's not that competitive, but you're going to get sales in both, especially when you have a larger, larger account. And this is probably the best advice that I could potentially give. And once again, if you look at some of the lessons that I've taught in our members area, nowhere ever do I talk about niche research about how important it actually is, because frankly, it's not that important. When you're uploading, once again, tens of thousands of images, you're going to cross over into all kinds of different territory of competition. Therefore, I wouldn't get too hung up on the niche. Your selection and your output is much more important than focusing on the niche. And to put things into perspective, let me give you an example. If you sit there and you focus on your niche and you do your research all day, every day, 
and you spend an, a 20 minutes, 30 minutes extra a day doing your niche research. In those 20 to 30 minutes, I could be your competition and I could have already created 50, 100, 400, 500 extra images that I could potentially upload per day. Now, of course, I have to tag those images. I have to filter through, find which ones I'm going to upload or not. But at the end of the day, I'm basically turning up the RPMs on my success. I'm pushing more outwards, pushing, pushing more photos outwards, which was, allows me over time to become much more successful because my output is higher. Adobe Stock, selling stock photography, is not one of those games where we play specifics here. We want to upload as much as possible. This is not one of those things where I say, okay, my output has to be perfect. If we were doing KDP, right, Kindle, Kindle Direct Publishing, I do want that ebook to be perfect or as good as possible when I'm uploading it, but not for Adobe Stock. But it, once again, if you're hung up on that and you really need some, you know, stats and you need some trends to look at, VecDeasy can provide you that once again. VecDeasy is a micro economy of Adobe stock, so it's not going to provide the exact information from platform to platform, but really it's the only thing that is as close as possible to some trend type stats that you can kind of see. What you know requirements or what keywords are in more demand than others based on the requirements of the buyer, or in this case, the downloader, right? So you can kind of see they have here opportunity sections. But once again, this is for Vect Easy. This is not for Adobe Stock. You have trending weekly searches. Um, you have monthly trending searches. You have content gaps. I wouldn't go for all of these keywords. I definitely wouldn't take a look at all of them. And also, you want to do some analysis. So, for example, the word solar eclipse. There's probably not too many people looking for solar eclipse content anymore. This was something that is in the past. And to prove that, you can kind of look at the trend. You could see how the trend peaked. And then it slowly died off. This kind of analysis matters because if you start creating solar eclipse type content for your Adobe stock, it, the reality is it's probably not going to sell anytime soon, maybe until the next solar eclipse, because that moment in time has died off. And remember, companies are using these different images for things like their blogs and other resources like that. And there's no reason for them to go out there and purchase it when that moment in time has already passed. So keep that in mind. But once again, I don't concern myself with trends for, you know, multitude of reasons. But one of them is because I'm uploading in large quantities. But another one as well is because I never focus on a trend. I always focus on evergreen type content. I want to consistently get sales on a day by day basis. I'm not interested in shooting to the moon one day on one image, getting 20 sales on that one image, and then getting no sales on that image for the rest of time. That has, that's not my interest, you know, that's not something that piques my interest either. So hopefully this helps and hopefully you can use this information. Once again, don't get hung up on the trends, the analysis, the market research, not for Adobe stock. When you're uploading tens of thousands of images, it just simply doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to ace every single one. And, you know, all images are just simple opportunities to get those downloads. All right. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video helps and peace out. Bye.